YouTube yogis, Tina here. Welcome to Tina's Yoga Room once again. We are going to have a 45 minute vinyasa flow. Pretty easy flow, might even be categorized as a slow flow. Simple vinyasa moving with the breath. We're going to start on your back in Supta Baddha Konasana. So laying down, supine, bound angle, feet come to touch, knees splayed to the side, and you can play around with hands, maybe one on the heart, one on the belly, out by the side, or maybe even reaching behind you. Simply notice, notice what's going on around you. What do you hear? Tuning into your senses. And when you do this, a lot of the other noise within your brain tends to float away. Building the breath, let's take a nice full inhale through the nose. Once you're at the top, open the mouth and sigh it out. We'll take two more of those. Full breath in. Sigh it out, exhale. And then take your last round. Breathe comfortably in and out through the nose. Check in to see how those three deeper breaths made you feel. And let's take the outsides of the thighs, draw them in so you plant the feet, but this time the feet will go wide on the edges of the mat. Arms are out by your sides and see if you can bend at the elbow. So this gives a different feeling for the shoulder. Take a nice breath in here. And on your exhale, let both of the knees fall over towards the left. And then inhale, take it back to center. And exhale, knees to the right. Getting into the hips now, breath in. Exhale, knees left. Inhale. Exhale, knees right. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees to the left. We're going to pause here. The gaze can fall towards the right. An early spinal twist. And then use your next inhale to bring everything back to center. And exhale, we'll take it the other way. Knees towards the right, gaze to the left. And then come back to center. Now we're going to hug the knees in, give a rock side to side. Scoop behind the thighs, take a couple rocks up and down the length of your spine to come up to seated. And once you're seated, we'll stay here. So the right leg will go long off the side of the mat and you pull your left foot in. Arms are gonna reach up and then basket hands behind the head. So press the head back to keep the spine neutral and then really open the elbows wide. Activate that right foot so you have a strong leg and on your exhale, we'll twist to the left. So without releasing your hands, you are relying so much more on your core to find your twist. Make sure that right hip is just as grounded as your left one. And then we'll exhale to take a side lean. So right elbow falls closer to the leg, fan open that left elbow and get into your side body. On your inhale, we'll come all the way up. Let the left hand drop behind you. The right arm is up and we'll press the hips up towards the ceiling as the arm extends back. And then come all the way back down. Let's extend both legs out in front of you. Give a little shake and then come forward to your tabletop, planting the hands at the top of the mat 
and the knees just behind you. Spread your fingers nice and wide and we'll continue moving with the breath with some cat cows. Letting the belly button drop on the inhale, lift the gaze and tailbone. And then exhale, curl everything into center, gaze and tailbone. Inhale, look forward, pull the mat towards you. Exhale, press mat away, curl in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Then inhale, tabletop. Let's step each foot to the back of the mat to find your high plank pose. Activate your shoulders by pressing the mat away from you and resist letting the hips and the belly button drop down towards the mat. So really hug everything in. And then let's exhale the hips high, downward dog. Take a little half step in with the feet and then bend into one knee at a time. Stretch the backs of the legs. Add a shake or a nod to the head. And then just notice if all the weight is towards the pinky side of your hand. See if you can really ground the weight at the base of the index finger and your thumb. Then pause at center, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend knees, look forward and walk the feet to touch at the top of the mat. Bend the knees enough. Ideally, the hands haven't moved at all. And then exhale, fold. Now we come up to standing. Let the arms go wide and overhead. And exhale, hands to heart center. Now we'll go right back up. Inhale, reach. And exhale, fold. So ground the hands, spread the fingers wide, and find your high plank pose once again. This time we'll take it into your first low plank, glide forward, bend the elbows only halfway, untuck the toes, find your upward facing dog, lift the thighs, and downward face, exhale. Few breaths here. Then inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend knees, look forward. Breath in, walk the feet to touch. Try not to move the hands as you fold, exhale. And then come all the way up, inhale. And hands to heart, exhale. Bend into the knees, let the hips drop, and then reach the arms up for your chair pose, Utkatasana. Draw the shoulders down your back. Let the toes be light. Super strong legs. The arms are gonna now sweep back behind you and bend the knees a little more. So now the palms are facing down. You're thinking of lifting your chest. And then fold all the way down. Exhale. Stepping back again to find your plank pose, inhale. And exhale, low plank. Upward face and downward facing dog. Now let's take right leg into the air, three-legged dog. Keep the toes facing down and find a straight leg. So hip squared down. Now bend into the knee, but the foot is pressing straight up. The right knee is still facing down towards the mat. Just like we did in cat cow. Lift the heel and the gaze, inhale. Exhale, curl in, knee to nose. Inhale, lift up, look up. And exhale, curl in. One more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, kick it up. Now straighten the leg, lift that back heel to give yourself some space to step forward. Right foot to the top of the mat. That back heel is going to stay lifted and we rise up to your high lunge. Palms come to touch overhead. 
Bend the elbows so the elbows are pointing up and the fingertips are now pointing down. Squeeze the elbows into the head and then get into the spine. Lift up and a little dive back. Now come back to center, extend your arms, and we'll find your warrior two, dropping the heel down. Flip your front palm, reach up and back, reverse your warrior two. Keep a nice big lunge into that front knee. And then come back to center, hands to hips. Straighten this right leg and let the right toes come in. So you've got your parallel feet. I'm just gonna jump around so that I'm facing forward. Hands to the tops of the thighs. Bend into the knees and rest the hands on the thighs. You'll feel the shoulders come closer to the ears. Take your right shoulder, drop it towards center and bend into this left elbow as much as you would like to find a twist. And then we'll inhale back to center and then exhale, dip left shoulder and bend into right elbow. Inhale center, exhale, other side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale center, exhale, twist to the left and we pause. Option to go a little further here. Instead of the right hand on the thigh, you would lower down to that right elbow. And then the left arm can half wrap around your low back. And you focus on twisting yourself open to the ceiling. Super strong legs. Now on your inhale, straight arms, straight legs overhead. And exhale hands to heart center. Let me turn around again. And now you've got your right toes to face forward, hands to hips. Left foot shortens up and then left toes face forward. So you've got squared hips to the top of the mat. Let the arms go wide, inhale. Exhale, either take your elbows or you can find your reverse namaste, palms pressing. Breath in, lift up and lean out to fold over right leg. With your next inhale, we'll come right back up, but keep the arms as they are. From here, we find Eagle Pose. So we'll bend into both of the knees and left leg is going to cross over the right one. Toes can also drop down to the mat. Lift the chest and let the shoulders roll down. So a heart opening variation of Eagle Pose. and then back to center, leg and arms up, and then drop it down, give a pedal, find your center stance. Then let's go all the way up on the inhale, reach and exhale, take your fold down. Find plank pose, inhale and exhale, low plank. Upward face and downward facing dog. Let's lower the knees down to the mat and extend left leg in the air behind you. And on your exhale, let that leg cross towards the right and look towards the right. So find that foot with your gaze. Inhale, come back to center. And now exhale, sweep the leg left and find that foot with your gaze. Inhale, center. Exhale, 
cross to the right, inhale center, and exhale left. Inhale center, exhale right. Inhale center. Let's go over towards the left and pause. Keep that leg floating in the air. And if you want added balance challenge, the right arm can lift and float in the opposite direction off right side of mat. Then the hand down, sweep that foot all the way back, drop it to the back of the mat. Hug your right knee into your chest and kick right leg in the air, three-legged dog. Now left foot might like to take a little hop forward if you feel a little too long in that stance. Now we bend the right knee and stack the hips. So we're opening the hips on this side. The right knee can draw some circles. You can circle out ankle. Now look forward, straighten the leg and step through to your low lunge. Once the right foot is grounded, drop that left knee down and untuck the toes. Hands are gonna climb up to your right thigh and just focus on sinking the hips here. Further to go, arms reach up overhead. Basket hands behind the head again. And this time we'll exhale to twist to the right. So this left elbow wants to sweep around, press it back. Now take your left hand, lower it all the way down to mat or maybe even a block. And the right arm will reach behind you with the palm facing up. If you've got more to go, lift this back foot up and then turn the palm to face down and try to high five that foot. Now release what you have, both hands come down to the mat, drop the back foot down, tuck the back toes under to lift the knee and right foot is going to step back plank Take an inhale in your high plank pose, but on the exhale, go straight to downward facing dog and walk the hands backwards to the feet. Take your peace fingers and loop those big toes. Straight arms, let's really build the foundation here. So the toes shouldn't be lifted off of the mat. You should be stepping into the toes. Pull up on the big toes, long spine, and then take your fold. Inhale to find straight arms. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, Sama Stadi So you've got hands and big toes at center. So you're at the back of the mat. Let's take this left knee and hug it in. If you have further to go, you could take the peace fingers and reach down for that left big toe. Notice if that knee wants to drop to the side and squeeze it against your elbow. Strong right leg standing tall, and then you can work on some hamstring length by working on extending that left leg. Now keep that foot in the air, but hand to hip, and then step that left foot about halfway up your mat. Take a little bend into both knees and now take right foot and rest it on top of your left thigh. Standing figure four, hands can find heart. And if you'd like to go a little lower, let the hips drop.
Stand tall, extend that leg, and drop your right foot to the top of the mat and bring top of left foot down behind you, hands to hips. So this right hand is going to half basket the head, lean into that right foot so the left leg floats. Inhale, lift the heel, press the right elbow back, and on an exhale, try to curl in knee towards the elbow. Inhale, nice and control, open up, and exhale, curl in. We've got one more, inhale, and exhale. Now let's inhale just to extend and lower everything down on your exhale. Washing it all away, inhale, arms reach up, forward fold, exhale. Step, step, plank pose, and exhale, low plank. Upward face, and meeting in downward facing dog. Find your breath, spread your fingers wide, and relax the head. Now let's look forward and come to sit. And straighten that left leg off the side of the mat. Pull your right foot to the inner thigh. Activate left foot, both hip bones pointed down, hands basket behind the head. So you might take the opposite thumb on top if you've been taking the same one on the first side. Breath in, and on the exhale, we twist right. It's that left elbow that wants to come forward thinking it's helping you in the twist, but open it up to get more space in the shoulder. And then exhale, lean left. Think about opening this right elbow and shoulder all the way behind you. Now as we come up, the right hand drops down behind you, the left arm is up, and the hips can press to the ceiling. Sink back down, both legs out in front of you. You can give a little shake and roll yourself forward. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale to find your low plank. Inhale, heart forward. And exhale, hips high. So now your left leg floats in the air. Keep the toes and the hip pointing down and then bend the knee. So the knee stays facing down as well. Breath in, try to lift the foot and the gaze, extend your spine and exhale now, contract, curl in knee to nose. Inhale, kick up and open and exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, kick up, straighten the leg, lift the back heel and step forward. We'll come into your high lunge, arms sweep up, inhale. Palms to touch, bend the elbows and squeeze the elbows in as the fingertips face down. Notice if you lost some that bend in the knee and refind it. Now lift the chest and gaze can rise as well. Inhale center, extend the arms and then find your warrior two. Reversing it, front palm up, Reach up and back, right hand light on that back leg. Notice again if you lost some of the lunge and bend into that left knee. Now 
Now come back up, warrior two, straighten the leg, hands to hips, and those left toes come in. So you've got your parallel feet, and then kick the heels in so your toes are facing out. Hands to the tops of the thighs again, and then you'll bend the knees to find kind of this high catcher's stance, high squat. Now let's drop your left shoulder to center, gaze right. You can feel around with how deeply you'd like to bend that right elbow. Inhale, center, two straight arms. And now exhale, take the gaze left. Inhale, center. Exhale, gaze right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, drop left shoulder and pause. Notice if the toes are clawing at the mat, let them go. And then if you went further, it's the left elbow to the top of the thigh instead, and the right arm wrapping low back. Now we're not forward folding. Try to lift yourself back. Strong inhale to straighten the legs and arms up overhead. And exhale, hands to heart. Then rest hands at hips, left toes forward. Right foot takes a little step in, so hips are square to the top of the mat. Go wide with the arms and either take a hold of elbows or palms pressing. Lifting, inhale. Leaning out, fold, exhale. Then come back up, keep the arms, but bend the knees, and we come to eagle from here. So a couple steps or one big step. Wrap the thighs, and then lift your chest. Let those shoulders roll down. Back to center, straighten arms and leg, and then connect at the top of your mat. Let's wash it away with a breath in to reach, and your exhale to fold. Step, step, plank pose. Exhale, low plank. Upward face, and downward facing dog. Let's soften the knees down to the mat. And then we've got right leg back in the air. So press strongly through that heel, take an inhale. And on the exhale, cross left, follow it with your gaze. Inhale, center. Exhale, sweep it right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, right. Let's take one more full round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, the strength is trying to keep that leg lifted and the challenge is reaching the left arm in the opposite direction. Then the hand down, sweep the foot back, drop it. Now we hug left knee in and kick left leg in the air. I like to hop my right foot just a little forward, bend left knee, and this time we can open the hips. If you took circles one way or the other, do that again. And then square back off. Look forward and step, low lunge, so that right knee is coming all the way down. Hands up to the front thigh, let the hips sink down.
Then those hands can basket behind your head. Press the elbows back and twist left. The right hand will lower all the way down a mat. Left arm opens back with the palm facing up. If you went for that foot, float the foot, flip the palm to face down, and then see if you can just high five the foot. Release, leg long, both hands down. Tuck the back toes under to lift the knee. We'll step back to your high plank pose and pause. Go straight to down dog, exhale. Walk the hands backwards to the feet. Toes are slightly angled in so you've got parallel feet. Let's lift one foot up at a time and slide each palm underneath. Inhale, find straight arms and exhale then fold. Inhale to look down. Then bring hands up to the hips. A breath in takes you up to standing. So now we'll take right shin in. Stand tall in that left leg. Stand as upright as you can. You can always stay here or you go for that big toe. Draw the knee inward and then you can work on extending through the leg. Don't forget to stand tall straighter left leg. And then the good bit is to keep that leg floating but bring both hands to hips and then step about halfway up the mat. Little bend in the both the knees and it's your standing figure four. Left ankle comes forward to that thigh. Hands to heart and sink into your figure four. Stand tall through that right leg. Extend left out. Lower that foot to the top of the mat. And now bring the top of your right foot down. Hands to hips. So now that left hand is going to half basket the head. Right hand keeps that hip facing forward. Float right leg. Inhale. And exhale. We take those crunches. Curl in. Inhale. Open up. And exhale, curl. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to extend for a beat and then drop everything down at center. Inhale the arms up. Find a steeple mudra, so your interlacing fingers and the first fingers dial up. Squeeze the arms into the head, but relax the shoulders. Navel to your spine, take a lift up, and a little dive back. And with your next exhale, let's swan dive, release the arms, take a nice forward fold. Separate the feet about hips width distance and then bend enough into both knees so that both hands are grounded right in front of the toes. Left hand is going to come to the small of the back and work on opening that shoulder up. Look to the left and extend left leg, deeper bend in the right knee. You could also float left arm higher.
Bend that left knee, lower the hand down. And we'll take it to the other side. So right hand, small of back. Twist right, straighten that leg. Deeper bend into left knee. And right arm can float. And lower everything back down and take a step back to your high plank pose. Exhale to find low plank. Right back up and downward facing dog. Take a few moments to pedal out, shift around in the head, the neck. And then a couple breaths at stillness right in your downward facing dog. We're gonna come to sit and then all the way onto your back. Let the knees come in towards the chest, wrap the arms around, give a relaxing rock side to side. Now similar to the very opening sequence, you can place the feet on the wide edges of the mat let the knees drop left, arms can go wide, straight or bend elbows, and the gaze can go right. You could also bring the knees closer together, have them stack on each other. That would be a little bit of a deeper twist. And listen to your body, what you feel you need at this point in class. Back to center, and we'll take that spinal twist the opposite direction. So the knees right, either space between the feet or stack the feet and knees, and your gaze is left. Come back to center, plant the feet on the mat. Arms can rest down by your sides, float the legs into the air, circle out the ankles, wiggle the toes around. Just let the blood flow in an opposite direction for a moment or two. And then you'll let the legs go on the mat. Find your Shavasana, your resting shape. Arms and legs long. Take a nice full breath in and let it go. Soak in these next few moments of rest.
Start to wiggle the toes, the fingers, and take a nice breath in and out. Let the chin drop towards each shoulder. Take the arms up overhead, stretch the arms back as the toes point forward. Wrap the arms around the legs and take a light landing on your right side. Come all the way up to a comfortable seated position. Palms find heart center, Anjali Mudra, mutual sign of gratitude, honor, and respect. Thanks for sharing your virtual energy. Namaste. If you haven't yet subscribed, the button's right there. A couple of other videos are gonna pop up for you. Give them a try. See you later, yogis.